What should you talk about after introducing yourself to a woman? Two paths to go. One is sometimes a woman will give you everything you need to continue. What I mean by that is you might be like, hey, how you doing? Cheers, good, what are you up to today? And she's like, oh, actually I'm just reading this romance about classic fashion in the 1920s. There, you have a lot of things that you can start to discuss. Reading in a public place, loving novels, and especially like classic novels, fashion, doesn't have to be about fashion of the 20s. So if there's something there that you can relate to or are genuinely curious, that's what I would always do. Most guys try to think ahead Head. But the problem is then you're not actually hearing what she's discussing. And like, that's not how we interact with people we're comfortable with. You're not like with your friends, like, oh, what do I ask Tom next? You're just listening to what he's saying. You're slowing down. And when he talks, you're giving yourself a second to relate. And even if you slow down and you're a little nervous and you're like, huh, fashion, you know, that's cool. I always liked the 1920s through 60s fashion where like everybody still wore suits and still had ties and everybody was spiffy all the time. I thought that was really classy looking. Or I kind of wish sometimes they brought that back. And then she's like, oh my God. God, me too, blah, 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 blah. Or maybe you hate reading in public and you're like, hey, listen, how are you reading that in public? I would be so distracted. I get so kind of in my head when everybody's around and I'm trying to read. How do you focus? Generally, if you start a conversation, a lot of the times women will give you some sentences of what they're doing, what they're up to, and then you just kind of continue off that and the conversation will open up. Otherwise, if there's nothing, she's just like, you're like, hey, how you doing? Good. What's up? Oh, not much. Then you either have to relate to something you already felt out in the moment or you observed, which is another topic altogether. You should be having some observations of the world, but maybe you're in a coffee shop that you've never been to and you love the way it looks. You should be like, oh my God, isn't this place incredible? I've never seen like a coffee shop that looks this fancy. It's really beautiful. Or there's a song playing and you're like, whoa, I haven't heard the song since I was in high school. It really takes me back. Or an observation about her. Maybe she's reading, like I said, a book and you're like, yo, that looks really interesting. Why are you reading a book from the 20s? Otherwise, you just can have a general question or two that you can always bring up or share about your day, like out of randomness. So you can be like, hey, so I'm curious. I came to say hi. What do you like to do for fun when you're not reading at a coffee shop? What kind of adventures did you have this weekend? Or share what you did. So it's like, hey, I just wanted to come say hi. Hey, how you doing? Good. I'm kind of wrecked from yesterday. I went out to like this Halloween improv thing and it was really funny kind of doing improv in costumes. What about you? Either way, you should be slowing down and trying to relate, but just listen to what you're saying, man, and piggyback off that. Novels, 1920s literature, fashion, Fashion, reading in public. You have to learn about what your opinions are and slow down and try to feel it out. And even when you're nervous, trying to like find the words, when you come up with something honest and from the heart and present, people feel it, man. The other side is just saying something completely random and then trust that'll open up conversation. I think a lot of guys always feel like they need some context. You don't. You can always be like, hey, so tell me, I don't know much about you. What do you like to do for fun? It's a little random, but people like random, man. It's better than just being having a boring life.